Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be stitching out this mini mouse. It's all stitches. Uh, let's see. And it'll be 73 minutes here. So it's um it's a pretty good piece of mount to stitch out, but um, I'm going to try and see how this pattern, well, not this pattern, this design turn out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and thread. I already got my threads. So I'm going to go ahead and thread up my machine. Um, I do have my hoop already with my stabilizer. I'm using the no-show mesh and the cutaway. And I have my shirt already pressed and iron. So I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> spray me. Look at this, it's so nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my adhesive um onto my hoop and then hoop my shirt. Okay. Okay, so I have my shirt on my hoop. I'm gonna make sure your tag is always facing you because when you open in the inside it's going to be stitching the front so just keep that in mind going to put this on my machine and let's see move that out the way slide that in Pull that down. And sometimes my needle gets stuck. Okay. I'm going to thread this bad boy and see where I want to place the design. All right, guys. So I have it positioned where I want it. <clears throat> And the first step is going to do this cream color. So just try to position this where you can see it. And press that green button. Make sure my shirt is out of the way. This is going to be a long um, stitch, a long design, so I'm going to have to like fast forward and speed it up because this is a pretty long <clears throat> this I will go ahead and go to my serger my sewing machine but I have to fortunately watch the shot make sure you're, just to make sure you don't stitch my shirt my other side of the shirt my back side I got 
on the this ribbon. Like this down with this design. And I'm thinking about doing a tutu with it. But I don't know if I have enough. Okay. I don't know. I have if I have enough for this design. But if not, um, I got like some curly looking color. Hold on, y'all. I got some cream looking color. It was almost gonna get my shirt. I got some cream looking color. Or a ribbon that I probably could do with it. It's a red tool. I usually would pin my shirts on the side, but I'd be scared that my pins would fall through and then I need them to break. using these three ribbons to go with this design and do red tool and if I run out of this add red to it and do the rest in black I don't know we'll see but I really I really love this um, design is gonna go with this ribbon so I might like mix and match I don't know, we'll see when I get to the two to the tube tube. Alright. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna get my shirt, so let's go ahead and finish. So once this get done guys, I am going to because it's gonna take 15 minutes and the other process is gonna take 26 minutes. second we got a little bit more to go okay. and I went on ahead and uh, cut my tool and got it on my machine so I'm gonna use these three colors I hope it match um, and then I just use this as the bow so I probably don't use these four but this is not gonna go on the tool the tuk tuk. This gonna go on the. Uh, this gonna be as the bow of the tuk tuk and the bow for the bow. And I just use these to put on my tuk tuk. Um, but yeah, we got a few more to go, and I'm gonna try to do what I can um, on my tuk tuk. Now this is stitch, and I'm gonna try to multitask and sew and embroider. But we'll see how it goes. It's just so hard with uh, 
having it to monitor your shirt because you don't want your other your other your other extra pieces of the shirt to get stitched because it'll be just a a disaster. Like you have to re embroider, re hoop, re embroider, re thread, redo the whole thing over. And I just don't have time to do that. So I'm gonna try to multitask and watch my machine as closely as I possibly can, even if I stop, have to stop on my TikTok. So we'll see y'all, but I just wanted to go ahead and um, show you that I do have that um, on my sewing machine. And let's see what it's doing. Oh, it's on a white color. Okay. So I gotta take this out. So I'm gonna redo, re hoop, re thread my machine to. It's say white, but I'm gonna use it. Just Ava. Shh. This is like a. It's kind of like a gray color. I'm gonna just use that instead. So I think it'll blend in like a really good.
is still on the grain. And um, I'm still sewing. I don't got much to go. Um, it's a process. But eventually you'll, you know, you'll get the, the, the job done. It's just a match. My powder thread is empty. So I'm gonna press okay. Lift this side. I'm gonna clip this. I'm gonna pull it. And then clip it. So I'm gonna have to re-thread it. Look how cute that's gonna be. So cute. I'm gonna move my shirt. And sit it over here. Okay, um, I got some more bobbin that I'm gonna use. Yeah, my station is a mess. I'm going to use this. I always make sure that that little piece right there at the bottom go face down and then I just put it on my machine and put this plate back on and put my shirt back on Where's my thread? Here we go. That's a long piece of thread. I'm gonna cut it. I don't want it to be that long. I'm gonna pick it up when I finish. I'm gonna sweep when I get done. So yeah, guys, I'm working on my tutu and trying to stitch this out. Um, we are on the white, then the black, then the red, then the red. So, oh, hopefully, I have my tick-tick on. My machine, my brother machine, um, I don't know, it's kind of like, like not pulling my tool. And you know, tool is light. I don't know if it's got something to do with my foot at the bottom or my bobbin. I'm not sure, but... I'm kind of having to hold it and pull and sew. So it's kind of of a headache, but. Um, I can't wait to see what this design look like. It's gonna be so cute. So cute. Um, yeah, so when it get done, this is 26 minutes, oh my gosh. Um, When it get done with this, we gonna move on to the black. And follow back up, you guys. See how I'm not, I have to kind of like make sure my shirt don't get in the way. Which is such, uh, as you can see, it's starting to form. The little mini mouse, how cute. I'm gonna stop it because I wanna cut this piece. 
It's kind of like in the way. I should have been cut it, but. Um, I'm cut this one too. I should have been cut it, but I was just trying to do my tutu. Make sure my shirt isn't in the way. Do all this stuff. Be careful, y'all. One day I had my hand right there and it got caught. The needle got stuck in my finger. Please be careful because this machine with the needle, it, it never stops going. Like, unless you press it or it breaks off on something. But make sure your hands are like not in the way as it's in border because it will break your needle and you may get injured because I have experienced it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my tutu and then come back when it gets on the black and let this finish stitching out. Okay, so we stitched out the um, gray and the gold and now we're gonna do <clears throat> the black, I'm still going on my tutu. Go ahead and press this. And it's just going to do like little lines. So 12 minutes on that, not too bad. I want to show you all my birthday um i do got matching some matching so um hopefully i can do this one in my next video once i figure out what is going on with my baby right there let me show y'all because i don't know this one. it is let me show you what it's doing Basically, I have to get back here in my chair. Okay. Okay. Basically, y'all, I have to, <clears throat> like, it's not, so my feet are not pressing. sure that my tool is even as I so I'm just checking my shirt so I have to pull like and make sure that I'm not going over like this is sometimes consuming because I I can't sew like that like, I'm used to my fabric pulling by itself and not me pulling it, you know? Like, I don't know, it's not, it's not moving it, you see? Like, I have to pull it, and I don't know why. I'm gonna have to figure it out. But, um, I have to, it's, I have to kind of pull the tool along as I sew, and I just cannot, like, it's too much. But anyway, this is coming along so perfect. And I really don't want to mess up the shirt because I don't want these, this extra shirt to get in the way, like the bottom of the shirt. It's coming along good. 
I'm going to try to finish sewing. I'm going to keep you guys right here. Okay, um, so I'm almost done with my tutu. I just got this little bit to sew and I'm gonna do my red afterwards. It just sucks holding this, pulling it, making sure it's still even. Um, I definitely gotta find out why it's not. I gotta find out what's, what's wrong with it, why it's not pulling like it's supposed to. Um, okay, so I'm done with this. Um, toot toot. I am gonna take my black out. Um, and switch it to my red. That turned out so cute. Um, I'm gonna get up close, let you see. That's so cute. Just trim those pieces. We're getting ready to do like the uh, final stitch, I think. I think it's the final stitch. It's going to do, I know it's going to do the bow and then the outline of the bow. It's going to do the outline of the mini head. Let's see. It's going to do this. So it's going to do the red and the circle. Then after the red, that's four minutes. So then after that, it's going to do, I don't know, I can touch it. Ah. Then after this one, it's going to do this outline. I didn't think my scissors would make it move. I didn't think it was that sensitive, but I guess it is. So I'm just trimming these away before I uh, thread it. Okay. Gonna thread it. Guys, that took too. Took longer than usual. I definitely gotta find out. Like, help me, please. Somebody comment. Tell me what I need to do because it's so. But it's just not moving the fabric and I can't take it. Like, I try to be patient and still get the job done, but it's helpful when it moves and you don't have to struggle with pulling it. And believe it or not, it did the same thing when I made my video for the giraffe. That tutu, it did the same thing. And I'm like, oh man, like, what's. What am I doing? You know, like, why I keep doing that? But if y'all know, or if y'all got a clue, please help put it in the comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, because I don't know. Like, it's just so frustrating. You know, I see a little stream. It's like so frustrating because I just don't know. I don't know. Okay, 
Okay. So it's doing the red and the mini in the pattern and the little mini. These are a lot of stitches, y'all. A lot of stitches. It's doing the little red pieces. It's four minutes, it's not gonna take long, but hopefully I'll get done with this video because my phone is dead and my daughter had my charger. And she's on the phone with her friends and just act like her phone is on like five when it's literally four. But yeah, guys, um, if you could help me out figuring out my, I have a brother, uh, SE625. If you could reach me, let me know what I'm doing, what I need to do. I don't know. It would be so helpful to know what I need to do. Excuse me. Because I do have to complete this unicorn tick tick. And I got to get it done. I'm thinking I could probably use my surgery. I don't know though, because I just got it and I'm still kind of learning it. Um, if you all know what I could do to substitute my brother, um, SD625, to go ahead and sew my um, unicorn, maybe I could substitute it and use my surgery. I don't know. Or just keep doing it how I've been doing it with holding the tool. But that unicorn gotta be completed ASAP. So just let me know, guys. Oh. This design is so cute. I love it. I love it. So cute. I'm gonna hit, go ahead and speed up the last step because I want my phone to die. Okay, so it's about to be my red. I can see it right there. It's about to be this red. And I think it's gonna start here. I'm gonna lower this. Um, I am done with my TT. I'm flipping this side with my channel. Yeah, can y'all see that? My channel is, hold on. Okay, my channel is here. So I want the long side. I wonder if you see this. Okay, so this long piece right here and then I got my front piece can y'all see my let me just turn it okay I'm gonna start from the top okay so this is my channel and this is the long piece and then in the front is the short piece so I'm gonna sew open it like a book okay and I'm going to sew this long piece and not the front piece. I'm going to sew the long piece first because the long piece is going to be my back part. In my back part, I'm going to put gold. And then on my short part here, I'm going to put red and black because I want the red and black to overlap. I want the red and black to overlap the gold. Okay. So I want my red. Uh oh, I dropped my ribbon. So I want my red and black at the top and my gold on the bottom. Okay? So I just wanted to share that with you. Remember, I'm done sewing. This is how it came for me sewing. Actually, it came like 
And so you're gonna open it up like that. Remember the long piece is the back, the short is the front. The back, you're gonna sew first. So I'm gonna put this here. And my ribbon is satin ribbon. I'm gonna put this look more shinier to me. This side versus this side. So before I do that, I'm gonna burn it, seal it, and put this down, put the shiny side down, lay this part on top. And I wanna get as close to the edge as I possibly can. And that's how I'm gonna stitch that, okay? I gotta finish this. I have to figure out what's going on with this machine. I'm, I'm just, um, my ribbon is all twisted, so I'm just like unraveling. As I go, Still having to hold this. I don't know if I got something stuck in the bottom of my machine. I'm not sure what's wrong, but I'm almost done. Just trying to make sure I get it um, where it's supposed to go. Show 
gonna get some um, tear my stable my uh tear wear and flip this inside out. Oh, Remember your tag should be in the back. Mm. Needs to be heat impressed. But this is how it turned out. I'm gonna hold it up so y'all can see it. So cute. I'm gonna clip those and then of course Use my roll on and let's see if I took two. Mm -hmm. Before I do my um two two um, I'm gonna heat and seal my I'm going to be using, this is a, a wood burner, and I use it for my bowl, so it's very super hot. I'm just going to take it and lay it on this cup, yeah, lay it on this cardboard and just slice it right across. Just like that. I'm gonna zoom in. Y'all can see it. See the okay. See how it's melted away the extra piece and <clears throat> it's clean cut. I won't have to burn it with my lighter. So I'm gonna do this other side. And I love this, it, it works really good. And just go straight across. Just like that. Um. I'm gonna move this to the side. And just do a regular, um, a regular bow. So I'm just kind of creasing it in the center. Open it up. And like so and I got a little clip to see if I can get it I think it's I don't really never use it I just kind of eyeball it and pick it up like that. I think that's about <clears throat> even. The tails are even. The bow is fine.
Okay, so I just finished this suit tube. Look how cute. I'm going to stitch this, put the bow here. Let's go on with this shirt. I should have made this smaller probably. But that's a good fitted size. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. And I like to um, turn it the opposite way, like the back way, so I can stitch this even. Look at that. Voila. All right, guys. This is it for today. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to be working on some more stuff. I have this cute fabric. I'm going to do like um, a bar thing. And then I got this black bullet uh, fabric that I'm thinking about the Rebella bottoms out of. And I want to use this. This is like wool. Very pretty. So yeah, guys. This is it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.